Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So today I want to talk about something that could be a little bit triggering for some people, but I feel like it needs to be said. So I'm here in my office, but I found a little quiet area so I can make this video. So I hear a lot from women that they are not able to meet a guy that they want, that they're saying that, okay, there are not enough high value guys there. You, they cannot meet any. The only people, the only men that they meet are not really up to their standard. And here's the thing you are attracting whoever you are at the moment so you are attracting the level of a guy of what you are okay so if you are not attracting the guys that you want the high value men that you want it means that you need to level up so you need to either level up so you can start attracting men that you are interested in or you need to lower your standards and be okay with attracting who you are attracting right now okay and i know it may sound a little bit rough and tough but this is this is the way that it is because i see a lot of women just wasting time months or years complaining that they're not attracting who they want yet they're not doing anything about it they are attracting guys that in their words are not what they want so they're not the high level guy that they want but they are not okay dating these people they're not okay building their rotation with these people but time goes on and they're all they're doing is just complaining that okay there are no high value men that i'm interested in right so what's the problem in this situation like if you are not doing anything to level up and actually start attracting people that you want to attract then you are spinning in circles complaining about the fact that you can't attract them so either A, be okay with the guys, with the type of guys and men that you're attracting right now, or level up so you can attract better people, higher value men. Now, if you do decide to level up and start attracting higher value men, know that they have women who are interested in them too, right? Just like very high value women, they have a rotation of high value men, but high value men are gonna have a rotation of women as well. So there are women who are interested in them too. And that's why it's important for you to actually level up and be someone that he's never met before. Be someone that is different from everybody else. A lot of people, like if you are already a student of mine, if you have one of my courses and you are familiar with feminine energy work, this is your step one. If you don't have that, if you don't know how to do that, and just to give you a little idea that will explain like what actually that is, so if you are not able to get a second date, like let's say you go on the first date with a guy and he doesn't call you back and she just disappears, it means that your feminine energy needs work, okay? Or if you can't even meet anyone who would wanna ask you out on a date, your feminine energy needs work, okay? So I invite you to check out one of my courses. It's now on a huge holiday discount, okay? But I digress. So if you are in a position where you are already practicing your feminine energy, you already know how to do that, then you need to start doing something different for yourself. So find something that you like to do and something that would make you stand out. Okay, so it could be anything like it could be for me, for example, I do m several different things. But for example, I do dancing. Okay, so I actually dance, I go to competitions, and I don't do it professionally, I'm not a professional dancer, but I really enjoy it. I go to competitions, I compete. And actually, here's a little, uh, little snippet of uh, my last competition. Rest of it you can watch on my Instagram. This is what lights me up and it keeps me in great shape as well, right? Because it's an amazing workout. It's much more fun than doing Stairmaster or whatever, cycling. Um, it is just a great thing to do. And when I go to these events, right, when I go to these competitions, there are tons of people there. There are tons of people there, younger people, middle-aged people, older people, people of all socioeconomic status and including high value men. Hello. So if I wanted to meet people, like men come over to me all the time. So if I was interested in meeting someone, this would, would have been a great place to do that. Okay, so you just have to start doing something and I'm not doing it to to meet men, right? But I'm doing that for myself because this is something that I love to do and that makes me special. That makes me different. If you are dating, just imagine this, that if you are in a position where you are on a date with a man and he, the, the dates that he usually goes on are very basic. So he invites a woman out, they go eat, they go sit down, you know, have a drink, all that stuff, right? Very basic standard, everybody does it. Oh my God, like it's, it's just boring. But there, let's say there are you, 
and you know you are really you a dancer right and then there is maybe dancing in this restaurant or there's a party that he's taking you to and or there's maybe like a holiday event where people are dancing or you're just da passing let's say you had a you had dinner and you're passing like a little bar and you see people dancing right you can always suggest oh can we stop here for a second or even he brings you to a place like that and then you actually dance and you show like what you can do and you know you are in your zone right immediately he's like okay this woman is special this woman has something that all these other women that i go out with don't have because look at as she's moving look at, at her whole embodiment when she's moving and she can do all these things right so immediately you're becoming something else in his mind and there's so many other examples like if you can sing right for example if you can't well then learn how to sing you can go to like there's so many options there like karaoke bars like all that stuff and you can work it into your dates and you can show your your ability you can show how you're different from other women if you are just very basic and you are the only thing you can do is you know get doled up and go on the date and sit there and you don't make yourself stand out you are you're not different and feminine energy work yes it's going to help you tremendously it's going to put you on a whole different level with women who don't know how to do that it's going to put you in a different playing field if he is let's say went on a date with someone with a woman who is in her masculine and he's not going to be attracted to that at all no matter what she looks like so you are going to be a breath of fresh air so if you don't know how to do that yet definitely learn how to do that again i have courses for that so you can learn how to do that but then let's let's take it a step further sometimes like imagine that the same guy that you're interested in he's also goes on dates with she he's also dating one of my clients or my students for example and i always tell women that i coach that okay you need to do these additional stuff like and not just for dating purposes right you need to do it for yourself because once you know that you have something extra you have something extra going on you are good at something else and it could be anything it could be anything like just choose what you want to do and you know yourself that okay i'm really good at this that gives you that confidence right that gives you that spark that makes you different and not to mention that of course it's very healthy for you to even do something like that like that's such a great exercise that gives you uh, ability to move to dance to have that plasticity with your body if you are singing you know that's great for you as well because as you're singing like you are singing from your diaphragm so that helps you with your breathing so anything that you do is extra is going to be good for you regardless okay so that's going to give you that confidence that is going to give you that confidence that will help you even be more confident with men in general with people in general so my advice is choose something that it, you like to do or find out what you like to do go do a bunch of different things and see what sticks see what you like to do do you even like to dance do you want to sing do you want to learn how to play an instrument i don't know or maybe you need to just start actually doing something even going to the gym start going to the gym and i'm not saying that you go to the gym two or three times a, 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 a week sorry not a day um but start going start going don't sit at home watching netflix or whatever don't do that get up start working out start training start going maybe to these different studios if you let's say if you say okay i don't even have money for a gym membership you if you're watching this video you have an you have internet right so there's so many workout videos on youtube that you can do literally following the the lady who is doing the training so do that you don't even need to have a membership just start doing that you can you can do amazing things with just your body weight like this is how i train sometimes like and i have a video on my channel about like how i train like what, what do i do when i work out right so there's so many ideas usually the problem is that you just don't have motivation you are lacking motivation to do it it's not the money it's not any of the other excuses okay so if you are serious about up leveling about leveling up going to the next level you need to not only up level your body get your some some of your talents find out what your talent is or develop a talent right because none of us is actually born with talents we develop them like if i decide to go out and i say okay i maybe i have a ta talent in being a tennis player but i never played so i go and jane schmo just smokes me because i've never played right so but if i practice if i put years and years into practicing then my talents are going to come out so find out what you're actually passionate about find out and start doing it and then maybe you have a talent in that area and that's going to help you moving forward this doesn't have to be necessarily things that i mentioned and doesn't have to be 
dancing or singing, it could be your opinions about certain things, right? It could be your knowledge about culture, about culture of a certain country or about wine or about whatever it is, right? But it's something that makes you different, something that makes you stand out, something that a person can think about. They, when they think about you, they're like, oh yeah, she does this. And make sure that it is not something that will put people off. Like sometimes, sometimes people take this very literally and they make up a thing that is a little bit off-putting like they develop a view like a political view or something that is just kind of rubs people the wrong way so just make sure you don't do that it, this has to be something that makes you look better rather than making you look worse this happened to one of my clients so we started working together and we had this very conversation and she didn't really have anything like she she was a follower of my work she had my courses so she already was working with a feminine energy and was really, really good with it. So she already had a rotation of guys she, that she built based on that work alone. And then we started working on, okay, what is, what is gonna be your extra? What is gonna be that thing that just pushes it over, like pushes it over the hump, right? And we found out, well, I found out that she used to sing when she was, uh, she was a kid and she was pretty good at it. So she started singing more and she got, you know, confident, she kind of remembered um, how to sing. And she was like, oh my God, like I, feel so good even singing because it makes me so happy. So long story short, she was on a date with one of her, uh, with her front runner actually, the guy that she really liked. And they were, um, they went to a karaoke bar, like on the, they stopped by a karaoke bar on, on the way back from dinner. So she uh, put on a song that she knew how to sing and she sang it and she sang it like to him basically. And she's, she got pretty, pretty good at singing at that point. And he was just so impressed he was already like liking her a lot but this was something that pushed him over the edge because he was actually a uh, piano player so he knew how to play piano really well and he was like oh my gosh like this woman can really sing so i play piano so this could be our thing like he would play piano and she would sing or they would sing together you see how that opens the door to something else this opens the door to a totally different thing like if she didn't sing then he wouldn't even even told her that he played piano right so, and you see how now it's like even more connection between them than there was before because she has this talent, like because she has extra in that area. So long story short, after that things, I mean, she's married to this guy now, long story short, but this is how this works. Okay. Develop it. And again, it's not just so that you can meet someone and marry someone. This is something for you. This is something that's going to be filling you up. That's going to be something that lights you up. This is for you first and foremost. I, I have a video on my channel, I'm gonna link it in the description, that this is something that makes you light up from the inside, right? And this is extremely attractive. Not only it makes you younger, it makes you more attractive, it makes you just, you know, have this little pep in your step, but it also is attractive to other people, just other people, other, you know, jobs, businesses, money, anything. So when you find something that you really enjoy doing you're doing it for yourself first and foremost and the beautiful side effect of that is that it attracts like a magnet all these other blessings into your life okay all right guys this is all that i have for today and again i want to mention that this right now i have a sale going on it's the biggest sale that i have it's an annual holiday sale i did extend it just because a lot of you guys asked me to so it's still going on check out my courses um if you are interested in feminine energy work you need to check that out because this is basics like you you need to know how to do that okay and i love you all happy holidays i'm excited about christmas coming up and i will talk to you guys in the next one